We begin tonight with the breaking news. Hurricane Francine has just made landfall in Louisiana. New Orleans getting hit. A Category 2 hurricane with 100 mile an hour winds. A state of emergency in Louisiana and Mississippi tonight. Authorities saying the time to evacuate, of course, is over. Police, people are being told to shelter in place. Francine slamming ashore near Morgan City, Louisiana. With powerful winds, a life threatening storm surge, and up to a foot of rain. A tornado watch in effect until 11 o'clock. Tropical storm warnings for Mississippi and Alabama as well. Ahead of landfall, Francine lashing the Gulf Coast shore for hours. Major winds and storm surge all along the coast already. Louisiana's governor tonight activating the National Guard, preparing for high water rescues. Ginger Z standing by with the new track of this, but first, ABC's Matt Rivers is in Houma, Louisiana, right near Francine's landfall just moments ago. Matt. David, you can see just how intense these winds have become as Hurricane Francine's eye wall is moving ashore as we speak. These right now are the most dangerous moments of this storm so far. Tonight, conditions deteriorating by the hour on the Gulf Coast as Hurricane Francine slams ashore. Roads quickly flooding in Dulac, Louisiana, some areas bracing for up to 10 feet of storm surge and up to a foot of rain. Well, this hurricane coming ashore as we speak. We're right in the eye wall, the most intense part of this storm. Winds up to 100 miles an hour as the threat of power outages going up by the minute. Memories of 2021's Hurricane Ida still fresh in the mind of Homer resident Elante Carson. Nervous, overwhelmed, scared. Even though you've been through storms mm -hmm. before. I still feel the same way every time a storm comes. Humvees rolling down the highway as Louisiana's governor activates more than 2,000 National Guard troops. A state of emergency there and in Mississippi. In flood-prone New Orleans, officials say they're confident the pump system that keeps water out of the city will do its job. There will be time where there will be some flooding and our mission will then shift from keeping the city dry to pumping the city as fast as we can. And David, a hurricane warning now in effect for the majority of the Louisiana coastline, as well as a tornado watch that extends all through the night. David. All right, Matt Rivers there in Houma, Louisiana. Matt, stay safe. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z with the latest forecast, the latest track of this. Ginger. Hi, David. Francine made official landfall 30 miles south-southwest of Morgan City, Louisiana, but you can see it is jetting to the northeast at 17 miles per hour. So it's going to move quickly toward New Orleans with the eye wall where you see the worst of the winds, that tornado watch that goes all the way to Gulfport, Pascagoula, Mississippi, and we're going to see more of that tonight. That's going to extend into tomorrow. Tropical storm warnings go to Mobile. You see they go quite far into parts of Mississippi, too, almost to Jackson there, just south of I-20. So I want to take you through the timing and the impact. A couple more hours yet of that surge, which could go five to ten feet at most. Uh, but a lot of places will end up with two to five feet. Just plenty to add, you know, a whole human's height of water. Then rain, four to eight inches widespread, up to 12 inches locally. You see all those wind alerts that go up to Memphis or Birmingham, Huntsville too? That's because even as it loses its tropical constitution tomorrow, you can see wind gusts upwards of 45 miles per hour. Definitely could see tornadoes. You see how far reaching those outer bands are. Tallahassee, Panama City tomorrow morning getting hit by that. And then the heavy rain into western Tennessee. We see an elevated risk, David, of flash flooding. Ginger Z with us here tonight. We'll see you first thing in the morning, Ginger. Thank you.